Right. Good afternoon, everyone. In our science lesson, we're going to be learning about animals, including humans. In this particular lesson, we're all going to be acting as um, sense detectives. Our lesson objectives for this lesson is to be able to use our senses to do tests and also to gather information to find the answer to a puzzle. And our success criteria will be, I can use my senses to answer a question. I can do a simple test. I can record information. I can use information to find the answer to a puzzle. Are we ready? Sense detectives, let's go. Right, I want you to get ready with your writing pad and your writing tools, and we're going to do a mind map of senses, all right? So you're going to write senses at the center of your page, a, clear, a clean page, a clear, clean page. You're going to write senses. Then you're going to ink down your thoughts. Can you remember how many senses you have? If you can, fantastic. Give yourself a pat on the back. What are they? I want you to write them down. Write down the five senses that you can remember. Good. So if you have written down the five senses, Let's get some feedback and compare the sense of touch, sense of taste, sense of smell, sense of listening, and sense of the sight. So you have your eyes, Use for seeing, your nose for smelling, your mouth for testing, your ears for hearing, and sense of touch. Use your sensitivity, use your hand to touch and feel. Right, the five senses. What is this girl doing? Show me which part of her body she is using. What sense is this? What is this girl doing? You have three seconds to ink down your thoughts. Write down what you feel the girl is doing. And which part of her body is she using? And what sense is this? The sense of sight seeing All right the girl is looking she's using her eyes what sense is this the sense of sight fantastic what is this girl doing show me which part of her body she is using what sense is this the girl is smelling. She's using her nose. What sense is this? We call it, we call this the sense of smell. What is this boy doing? Show me which part of his body he is using. What sense is this? The boy is testing. Show me which part of his body he is using. He is using his thong. What sense is this? Test. What is this girl doing? Show me which part of her body she is using. What sense is this? The girl is hearing. 
show me which part of her body she is using. Ears. What sense is this? Sound. What is this boy doing? Show me which part of his body he is using. What sense is this? The boy is feeling. He's using his fingers. What sense is this? Sense of touch. You can feel with other parts of your body too. This is Ella. Ella is sad because she has lost a teddy bear at the train station. There are five teddy bears in the lost property office at the train station. We need to find out which, te which teddy is Ella's. There's Aaron, there's Bobby, there's Kazim, there's Danny, there's Eddie, and lost property. Science detectives, Ella has given us some clues to help us discover which bear is her lost friend. Can you use Ella's clues to help her find our missing teddy bear? My teddy bear smells minty. That clue number one. When I squeeze him, he makes a squeaky sound. Alliteration there. He likes to eat apples. He feels soft and fluffy. His footprint is 10 centimeters long. You're going to be science detectives. What are the things we're going to be using? Our sight, our smell, the touch, the taste, the sound, which teddy is Ella. For sight, you're going to circle the color of the footprint that measures 10 cm. For smell, you circle the color of the smells or um, you circle the color of the teddy that smells of mint. For touch, you circle the color of the teddy that is soft and fluffy. For taste, you circle the color of the teddy who likes apple. Sound, circle the color of the teddy that makes a squeaky sound. Probably a mouse will make a squeaky sound. Right. We need to use all of our senses to help Ella find her missing teddy bear. So we're going to start our senses detectives investigation. So we're all investigators now. Get ready and put on your thinking caps. Let's go discover. Let's go investigate and find Ella's teddy. Detective Farid, are you ready? Sight. Ella's teddy bear has a footprint that is 10 centimeters long. You will measure the footprint and find out which one is 10 centimeters long. Then you circle the color of the footprint that is 10 centimeters long. Smell. Ella said it bear smells like mint. You smell all the smells and see what you think each teddy bear smells like. You circle the color of the minty smell on your sheet. Ella's bear's favorite food is apples. Test the bear's favorite food and see which one tastes like apple. You circle the color of the food that tastes like apple on your sheet. Touch. Ella's teddy bear feels soft and fluffy. Feel inside the bag to see what each teddy bear feels like. Don't look inside the bags. Circle the color of the soft and fluffy fabric on your activity sheet. Sound. Ella's teddy bear makes a squeaky sound. Listen to the teddy bear's 
and decide which one makes a squeaky sound. Circle the color of the teddy who made a squeaky sound on your sheet. Let's have a look at the clues Ella has given us to help her find her missing bear. My teddy smells minty. When I squeeze him, he makes a squeaky sound. He likes to eat apples. He feels soft and fluffy. His footprint is 10 centimeters long. Shall we see what we found out? What did we find? Ella's teddy bear has a footprint that is 10 centimeters long. You measure the footprint with a ruler to find out which one was 10 cm long. Which color of footprint measured 10 cm? What did we find? Smell. Ella said it smells like mint. You smell all the smells to see which teddy smelled of mint. Which color smelled like mint? Taste. Ella's favorite food is apples. You tasted the bear's favorite food to see which one tasted like apples. Which color food tasted like apples? Sound. Ella's teddy bear makes a squeaky sound. We listen to the teddy bear to see which one made a squeak, squeaking sound. Which color made a squeaking sound? Touch. Ella's teddy bear feels soft and fluffy. You felt inside the box to see what each teddy bear feels like. Which color felt soft and fluffy? What did we find? Now rearrange the letters you have found to make the name of Ella's lost teddy bear. Click the teddy bear which belongs to Ella. Ella's teddy bear is Danny. You helped Ella to find her missing teddy bear. Ella is so pleased that Daniel is home. Well done for being sense detectives. Again, we go back to our learning objectives. I can use my senses to do tests. I can gather information to find answer to a puzzle. Your success criteria to do a simple test, to record information, to use senses to answer a question, and to use information to find answer to a puzzle.